I feel 10 feet tall right now. And strong as an ox. Who the f is this guy? Hey, who the f are you? Huh? Who the f are you? Okay, I like it. So during our Colorado post game show, one of the questions that was asked is Are the Huskers deserving of being ranked in the top 25? That answer came immediately Sunday. The Huskers are ranked 23rd and 24th, respectively, in the polls. This is the first time the Huskers are in the top 25 since going into the second season of Scott Frost with all of that hype after going 4-8. and eight. Personally, I don't know if I like this or dislike it, but I do think I trust Matt Rule to be able to get these young guys to not let their new top 25 aura get in the way of working hard and keeping your head down. I mean, it's obviously a good thing, man. The last how many years, Nebraska hasn't been relevant enough to even consider being in the top 25. It's just been, how can you not shit down your leg on games you're supposed to win? So from that aspect, I think it's a great thing. It's obviously a good sign. They're going to be upset that you're ranked. But at this point in the season, it's just kind of gas to me, man. Every team in the top 25 is based off of mostly last year and then what expectations are for this year, whether it's coach additions, player development, player additions, whatnot. And then to be honest, a good chunk of this at week two being in the top 25 could just as likely be so many top 25 teams losing the last two weeks as it's been Nebraska winning games. We've talked at nauseum. I have specifically about how overrated I think Colorado is. So when you look back on UTEP and Colorado, two really bad teams, I mean, they combined last year for seven wins. I mean, barely bowl eligible between two whole programs. So I don't think Nebraska came into the season kicking doors down and, and demanding respect and things like that yet at this point. We keep talking about how they're passing the tests that are put in front of them. With that being said, I don't feel like there's a lot of tests or big tests that have been up there yet. But to their credit, man, they're doing what they need to do as they get opportunities to do it. And that's what the rankings are. You know, a lot of teams move up in the rankings by default, you know, just by other teams that are ranked higher losing. So I'm with you. I hope it doesn't turn into a deal where we're going to have another, for lack of a better word, easy game coming up this week. I hope they don't get lulled into, we look great against these teams that we are supposed to look great against. And then when Big Ten play comes, it's a rude awakening. I think rules, I know rules better than that. I just hope that I'm very confident that it's passing along to the team. And I don't think we'll have to worry about that. I think regardless, if they keep on the trajectory they're on, they were going to be ranked. They're going to move up or they would move up, whether it's this week, a week, two, three weeks, whatever from now. There's a reason why the big poll comes out later in the year. You know, you get a better feel and look at what teams are, who looks like not just they're a top 25 team, but where they should be positioned. You know, who looks better than than who amongst the who's who's of college football. So you know, I'm never going to be upset about a top 25 ranking. I mean, it's just kind of irrelevant. It's just kind of, yeah, they're looking good and these other teams are losing. Plus, for all the hate and all the frustration over the last few years, Nebraska still is a name. So it was bound to determined to happen, whether, again, it's this week or a couple weeks. Allow me to pour some hot water on top of that cold water you just doused me with. Mm. This is a big step. It's not the step that you talk about or brag about because it doesn't mean anything in the end. But it was a big step that had to happen if what we want to happen is going to, which is Matt Rule truly rebuilding this program. Along with that comes certain things. One of them is becoming ranked. So this is to me actually kind of exciting the more I think about it because this is officially a mathematical marker that points to the fact that Matt Rule is already having a successful rebuild, which we knew but now everyone knows, and because it's not fake, or at least I don't perceive it to be fake, I'm pretty excited about it. There's no reason to be like upset or disappointed, and that's not what I'm saying. I just feel like at this point in the season against the competition we've had, it's like, all right, cool. I mean, when all said and done, this, this rebuild, this whole Matt Rule process gets full swing. You expect Nebraska to be like kind of the Nebraska old. You don't, you don't at the beginning of every season go, well, I wonder if Bama or Georgia or Ohio State's going to be in the top 25. You wait to see where in the top five they're going to be. That's where I think Nebraska ultimately the goal is to be there. But even bigger is are you relevant enough throughout the season that you're ranked in the top 25 at the end of the season, not two weeks in after two bad teams. So you're 100% right, step in the right direction, but you're also right with your whole 
hoping the team doesn't get complacent with it. And it's like, you know, 2019, we're looking back in five years going, remember we were ranked for a week and a half or two weeks back in 24. So it didn't mean anything in 19. To me, it doesn't mean a ton now, other than what you're saying. It's they're just gradually taking these steps and completing the process on the way to what the big picture is. And I think, I think they're definitely on track for it. We'll see again when they get into big 10 play, if it's for real or, you know, get a, at least get a, a better measuring stick out of them. As always, tell us what you guys think in the comments about the Huskers being ranked. You excited or worried?